Hey guys, this is Stuart on a Diamond. Today we're making a mudroom shelf. Hey guys, today we're making an organized DIY mudroom on a dime. And it's so easy, anyone can do it. Oh! Yeah! My friend Erin, she's been in lots of videos and our kids are quarantining for school this year. So we see them all the time. We've got a little school set up because everybody is remote learning. And she this week texted me a picture of her garage. She said it was always getting so messy and she'd always wanted to create a DIY mudroom in there. And the budget was just $100. So we decided to do this using an Ikea hack. She picked up two Billy bookcases from Ikea. Assembly is super easy, and you guys know Ikea stuff isn't that high of quality, but once you get it up against the wall and anchored properly, it really does stand the test of time. The big key to this working well and being really sturdy is to have it go straight up against the wall, so you really do need to remove the molding. So our plan is we're gonna cut the baseboard off um, at the width of the bookcases and then fasten the bookcases to the wall. We measured the width of the bookcases and then cut it down just using a little handsaw. It's actually oh! not the bad oh! Oh! I think this might work. And an exacto knife to pull it right off. We have a helpful assistant. You wanna say hi, Lydia? Hi. <laughs> We had some help from her neighbor, Lydia, and she is super awesome. And she helped us cut down the back of the bookshelves just using a simple X-Acto knife so then we could nail them right in. That way the back would be open against the wall and the bottom would be perfect to keep all of the shoes in place. And we could add the shelves at a custom height. And what makes this look super professional is by adding a bead of caulk by the seam of the molding. Okay, let's do some caulking. Ooh! You like? Oh my gosh. Back to this miracle. <laughs> and then we added the anchors to the top of the shelves and they definitely weren't going anywhere. It had lots of holes in the side and we wanted it to look more high end. So we added a little bit of caulking inside the holes to give it a nice, smooth, and super custom look. Lydia on hole filling duty over here. She's doing a good job. I found her some of my favorite hooks on Amazon that are really affordable. I'll be sure to link them down below along with her awesome level. And then it Oh, it suctions, suctions itself. Oh, <gasps> it's like a robot. It is. Isn't that awesome? And she wanted some really quality containers for the top of the shelves. And I love purchasing bins and containers online. Make sure you have Rakuten installed on your browser. This is a cash back app with over 2,000 stores. And for Labor Day or different holidays, lots of stores will offer double cash back on your purchases. Any purchase you make at the end of the quarter, you'll receive a big fat check in the mail with all your savings. I save hundreds of dollars a year by doing this. So what we did is we shopped World Market online and found some really cute bins. I was able to stack it with a coupon plus Rakuten cash back and then pick up in store. We got better than Walmart prices on these bins. Some of my favorite places to find organizers and items for redoing spaces in your home are Kohl's, Macy's, and World Market, especially because you can stack them with coupons. I'll be sure to have a link down below so you can sign up for Rakuten. You get a $10 welcome bonus. It's 10 free dollars and a free app for purchases you would make anyway. Whether it's the Dyson you always wanted, there's actually lots of good deals on those right now, items for your kids, the Dollar Tree is even on there. Anything you buy, be sure to download the app first. And again, it's totally free. And then she's got John giant bins and all the kids' toys over here. Super organized. We actually shocked ourselves with how fast we were able to get this done and it turned out fabulous.
If you enjoyed this video and want more simple hacks like it, leave it a big thumbs up. Everything I mentioned is linked in the description box down below. A huge thank you to Rakuten for partnering with me on this video and helping support Do It On A Dime. I am so grateful for you guys and I will catch you in the next video. Bye. Thank you, Catherine. I love it. It looks so good. I'm so glad we did that. Okay, I'm gonna set you guys. Whoa, come back. Can you hold something? <laughs> Lydia, what do you think so far?